I'm back with another video. Today we have Dubai as the worst city ever made. Those aren't my words, that's his words. Not to say I agree or disagree. After all, we do hear the stories when they come back from their trip. After being under you guys' provision. The stories. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Everything about Dubai screams excess, from the heights of the tallest skyscraper in the world to the depths of the deepest underwater pool. But most of the glittering and effective lures that the UAE's tourism board has are their influences. Tens of thousands of bikini models and Andrew Tate wannabes descend on the city every year to show off the sights and lounge around in air-conditioned villas. But underneath Dubai's surface of glitz and glamour lies an underbelly of sex, exploitation and depravity. In fact, some of the content in this video is highly disturbing, so turn back now if you don't want to know the true reality of being an influencer in Dubai. You see that? He said, some to the nature, you know how you look at it, it's beautiful, but under the glitz and glamour, that's what everything, after all, how we perceive things, it's all a propaganda and perception game. It can be Walt Disney, looking at it, Disney World, it looked beautiful, it looked like some place I would like to take my future children, if I'm fortunate enough to do so. It looked like some place you, you know, when you're looking at it, after all, they do say believe in half of what you see. I will argue believe in less than half of what you see and half of what you hear as well. So don't use these two eyes. Put on the they live glasses, metaphorically, or the eye here. And then underneath that beauty, glitz, and glamour, and the cleanliness is vile, is wicked, is demons in there, smiling with suits on and everything not to be trusted but that's what everything after all you guys know you done seen statements and issue apologies issued out to the populace from someone being disruptive let me think of an instant i ain't even got to you know you know if someone they see how they truly felt whether it was tw twitter at the end they issue an apology for it or they uh my twitter was hacked so yeah, it's like they try to save face for their brand and corporations, but behind closed door, these people are indoors with a little tied up Richard Ramirez in a basement and they imposing their will in on them. These kind of people indulge in incest, molestation, pedophilia, necrophilia, bestiality. What gets you off doesn't get them off. They quench their thirst. They're not normal, whatever normal is. Well, let's continue. Now, Dubai is known around the world for its cleanliness, both their public places as well as their people. If you take a walk around the sun baked streets, you'll see it's clear of litter and no crime to be seen. Enforced by the highly strict religious laws and the lengthy prison sentences for criminals. Every other week, there's headlines about some Westerner getting arrested for having drugs in their system or even having CBD in their car, showing affection in public or criticizing the government. It's not an atmosphere you'd expect to match up with influencers in bikinis, but the UAE makes an exception for them. It's you hear that, guys? They getting arrested, and I know you hear the stories of, oh, what's that Saudi Arabia, or is it both have similar, but like getting kicked out for having a little bit of marijuana. It's illegal. It ain't illegal for you to defecate in buckets, and y'all all play naked uno, and, and you're wrestling with each other. You haven't, you paying thoughts to, to move her bowels on your chest, because you, they fetishes is weird. After all, they didn't just spawn here, guys. A lot of these people are born in the upper echelons, the positions, due to them inheriting the spoils of war from what their forefathers did and their ancestors. But you will suffer up your father's doings. They ain't the first into these weird, nasty, animalistic, I would, it's lower than an the animal. They fetishes, they ain't just start with that. No, their fathers was like that. So it's in their bloodline. Hell, their mothers probably like that. They letting they donkeys fuck these girls and everything. It's crazy, bro. Shorty, if you ever went to Dubai, Dubai, I ain't fucking with you. You can't come this way. You can't come with these. I'm an old school Lincoln Continental James Bond coupe. I ain't fucking with that. You went to Dubai, I assume one of them... I assume one of them did something to you. And you and, and you were the porter potty. I assume that. Let's continue, though. 
It's a small glimpse of the hypocrisy that underlines this whole city. While the 90% of the UAE's population are migrant workers, and the other native citizens lower down the ladder they who have like to obey these laws or else, as always, there's a whole other world for the wealthy and powerful. These are the people who, in their own narrow view of the world, have already got anything and everything they want. Whatever they desire can be met with a click of a finger. They already got everything they want. Whatever they desire can be met with a click of a finger. <sighs> Understand that, guys. You probably, I just want a Bugatti. I just want to take care of my family. I just want this one girl and the family. And they didn't do it all you didn't thought of and what you didn't think of, possibly. What gets you off what's normal is not normal to them. Incest, molestation, bestiality, pedophilia, narcophilia. This is a real, these. Have you ever seen hostile the torture chambers the torture rooms it's people they get off like that you know how you go and watch a reds game no they want to go front row and see someone get chopped up youtube this is for entertainment purposes only i help make episodes for south park this satire but yeah like just know the people that's in these higher echelons the cocaine you do or whatever it don't get them off they into adrenochrome eggs extreme i trust you guys know that already though that just it's really what it is but let's continue Finger. Whatever food they want, whatever mansion they want to live in, and whatever they want to whatever. do. All of their wishes can be arranged for just a tiny fraction of their almost unlimited oil wealth. The people and world around them have been quantified unlimited. and given a price. So where can they go from here? What other experiences are there left to explore? Well, it's no wonder they've been indulging in their darkest and most deranged fantasies yet. You can get an idea of where we're going from these messages sent to influencers you who hear appeared on? in Love Island, a reality TV show in the UK. Tyne Lexi, a model from the show, woke up one day to see a weird DM from a man from Dubai. He offered her to 20,000 pounds for dinner and some drinks. You can understand what the implications were there. She was only 19 at the time of the message. A couple years later, after she'd been on Love Island, an agency which said they represented a client in Dubai offered her 50,000 pounds. If you listen carefully, you'll hear a rhythm in the markets pounds for five nights in the city. Included in the offer was a non-disclosure agreement, a common practice in this new wave of propositioning in sex tourism. Tyne Lexi then stated that she refused both of the offers. Another Love Island star, Rosie Williams, was offered £100,000 per year, spent being the companion of a man from Dubai. Along with the cash came the promise that he would take her shopping whenever she wanted and foot the bill for her handbags and clothing. It happens all the time. The same article describing these cases talks about the countless anonymous tips and stories of similar things happening to other social media models. It just doesn't get talked about. Either the women refuse and don't mention it, or they accept and they're too embarrassed or under agreement of silence. You see, most of the influencers that come to Dubai go for the same reason they do anything else, brand deals. Brand deals are the currency which fuels the whole industry. Influencers are only as valuable as the amount of people they can convince to buy your product. So when companies with massively overinflated marketing budgets are looking to appeal to a younger audience, they're an easy solution. It's this path that the makeup brand Tate went for, shipping 50 influencers and their plus ones to an all-expense paid trip to Dubai. Footage from the event showed that each influencer was given their own luxury apartment and business class flights to and from the home country. The flights alone cost tens of thousands of dollars each, add in shopping sprees and luxury restaurants, and you can get a picture that there was more to this than simple marketing. It didn't help that in their promotions, lots of the influencers didn't even know the name of the brand they were shilling. Apart from being completely out of touch with real life, there was definitely something else going on. Tate CEO stated that they don't do traditional marketing and instead they spend their budget on building relationships and building up communities. In this case, they were probably building up a relationship with the UAE's tourism council and the limitless funds. For the biggest influencers, they don't have to worry about anything. Their agents and their brands will sort it all out for them. But for the rest of the Instagram models who aren't at the top, it's a completely different story. For them, it will often begin with a direct message from a rich businessman who will offer them massive sums of cash for vague favors and a trip to Dubai. Other times, it's been a friend of theirs in the industry. They will tell them about the rich opportunities, the ways that their own trip to Dubai boosts their career, and how nothing explicitly sexual will be expected of them once they get there. Whatever they can say to convince them to go for modeling work or some other cover, for the greedy and the desperate that take the offer, they're transported to a different world. And here is where it gets very graphic. You see, this sort of thing isn't just happening in Dubai. It's happening all over America, where people find themselves the victims of abuse by powerful predatory people. It's, it's, he right, it's everywhere where there's power. Name a place, uh, Shanghai, China. If it's a billionaire over there, multi-billionaire, he didn't did everything. 
that's normal don't get them off anymore and now he want to eat somebody leg or whatever i'm not bullshitting either yeah they they all across the world it's the people in the upper echelons of things that make decisions on your life for what you do worker at meanwhile you think 20 pounds is a lot it ain't shit they already know the bitch still gonna spend it back on whatever they got unlimited oil you extracting it the blood from mother earth and it's gonna go right back around to them somehow like they not worried about that's not nothing it's nathan so everywhere there's power there's corruption ain't no good government it doesn't exist government govern control mental control your mind i don't need nobody to control my mind i don't fuck with colonizing capitalists i don't you're not indigenous or aboriginal to the land i don't give a fuck about what you talking about if you yeah. that's crazy you got an, an, uh, people that put on their pants just like you but once more for them to enjoy the finest fabrics to have the most beautiful women well it's the difference between women, lady, hoes, bitches, and all that. But girls, let's go with that. They don't have their morals intact. They dealing with these people, but for them to have these luxuries and convenience, we need the populace to be ignorant. They had the finest fabrics, the 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 mansions, the females, the gold, the glory, the diamonds, the power. They need a bunch of worker NPC GTA pedestrian beta cuck sim NCOs to run around this bitch without they brain. That's how they get to do this. Because of the populace is stupid. And it's not the matter of me telling you what you are. We can see it. We all see it. Homelessness still exists. Somebody's stupid because of that. And it's a lot of somebody's. That's the populace. That's the mass majority. That don't have nothing to do to with the exception to the rules, the people on the outskirts and being, I'm one of them. But yeah, they get the influx to numbers. They cause the disaster and provide the solution. They act like two different parties is going against each other. Democrat, Republican. They're acting. It's scripted. It's two wings of the same corpse. The same bird, the same body. And it isn't what it is. Some will wake up later, some already aware. Not to say I agree with everything in this Bible and its totality, but while I agree with it, it's not the matter if I want to believe in it or I don't. I see it. I see it in what's around me. I see it in my own family. I have my own definition of family, and I'm going to branch off and start brand new. But I see it. The mirror of this construct, what we see, what this construct did, the rose, how does it look? What happens? Our food still being poisoned. We being chemically castrated. We being chemically molested. Kids still going missing every 30 to 40 seconds. They making use out of everything from the kid. Let's go with narrow melanated, extracting that. After all, that costs more than gold and silver on the market. What you use that to make suntan lotion? You need another species to sustain your own life force to block the UV rays. Groom them until they get older if you want to keep them and create the perfect mate. Turn them into a little transformer Decepticon. Some highest bidder, IP encrypted on them dark web, deep state elite pedophile priest catholic pope type. Highest bidder. And just want to torture this kid however you want to with a chainsaw or whatever. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park. Extract the adrenochrome from the kid at the heightened sense of fear. He makes sure everything goes to use. The organs, he might eat them or he put them in some ice. Again, IP encrypted dark web. Auction them off. For somebody out there that's rich with power, they kid born with defects and they need a kidney, he feel his kid is better than yours. And he will get it by any means. Down to the skin. There's people out there that make skin purses and pocketbooks with human skin. It's a real thing. People have fetishes and they too interested, they too curious of in the wrong way of things. This really what consists of what this real life. And it's just 800,000 in the United States alone. What about the world? The world, Craig. So yeah, it's, it's sick out here. Meanwhile, we occupy with an occupation. 
job just over bro you can't afford much you can't even afford to keep they pesty hands out of your, your food and water and the chemtrails the particulates you ingest and you inhaling we're in hell land air and water that's what they govern you don't have a loyal title um yep that's how the cookie crumbles let's continue people at the head of organizations all across the states. And if you've ever experienced Facts. hardship at the hands of those running these powerful companies and organizations, pursuing legal action might be your best option to achieve justice. But the problem for most people, like many of those examples I discussed in this video, is that you never feel like you can achieve justice because taking legal action can be so financially draining. But this is where the legal firm Morgan & Morgan steps in to alleviate that burden. Morgan & Morgan is a law firm that actually just won a giant case for a client suffering from nursing home abuse and notice son of a bitch didn't implement an ad how you go from morgan and morgan pizza hut just changed somebody referred me to an ad blocker starting 6.99 evidence besides a few disgusting videos but the ludicrous amounts of different sources the explicit details in the embarrassing and secretive nature of the industry makes it incredibly likely they're true the most circulated story was told by one twitter user in a thread of tweets recounting a conversation they had with one of these models who had been duped and coerced into it the woman involved described meeting a rich and handsome emirati businessman on a private flight who convinced her to come to dubai with him once they were there, they spent time on dates, saw the sights, and did other touristy stuff. But a few days into the trip, he tells her to dress up fancy and drives her to a villa on the outskirts of town, miles from any other houses. Inside are a collection of older wealthy men, with more women her age. Everything seemed kind of normal, if a little sketchy on the first day there. But at 2am that night, she was awoken by an attendant coming to get her for games. When she came downstairs, for she games. was greeted by a Sweet large game. room full of sex toys and buckets. The other women were there. Some of them looked nervous, whilst the men were calmly waiting. The women were made to strip. Then one of the men pulled down their pants and defecated into the bucket. For the next two days, they all engaged in sexual acts, often involving the youth. The guy it just showed, to me, if you look like that, you're one of those. You can't be in my circle. I quick scope your ass. I grab, I dust the old ass rifle off with the Treyarch ornament charm camo from a Treyarch tournament. I will snipe your ass up close. You will think I'm doxing. I'm not. Fu to me, you're one of those. If you a female, you think you finna talk to me, and you ever fucked one of their kind, I ain't fucking with you. On God, you beneath me. I'm dead ass. It's over with. At that point, you you, you know, vaccinate you you're you're vaccinated at that point. If one of them then inserted they ping ding in you, ling ming ding, it's over with. I ain't fucking with you. You infected. You wanted a zombie from the Walking Dead. I'm not. I, I swear to God, you reduced yourself to such. I'm not fucking with you. You ever fucked with one of them? You ever went to Dubai? Dubai? Get the fuck out of here. I'm not fucking with you at all whatsoever. It's over with. Eat. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Somebody, you be seeing influencers that exotic trips taking pictures of plates and on yachts. What just if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. At the end of the day, they men, they weird ass men, but nonetheless, they're, they're getting something for sure. They, they understand money rules the world. They understand they got it off of genocide and the spoils of war. It wasn't about honest and hard work. It's never been about that. It's been about stepping on the moon crickets for you to enjoy the spoils of war. That's what it's always been. And they money and they wealth is infinite. And if it's infinite and money make the world go around, they can have everything in the world they want. That's how the shit go. And you're in the world and they want you. Yeah, I thought Diddy was bad. But it took someone early on in his career to turn him into one of them. He's infected too. You can't take the gay out of him. It's over with. And he had kids, so by default, epigenetic trauma. Low bearing fruit doesn't fall too far from the same apple tree. By default, the kid is gay. Let's continue or consumption of what is in the buckets. Obviously, lots of these women wanted to leave immediately, but they had been promised $50,000 if they lasted the two days. On top of that, if they left, 
They would be without their personal belongings in the middle of nowhere in a very foreign country, so nearly all of them chose to stay. It's stories like these that give a glimpse into the true reality of being an influencer or a model in Terrible. Dubai. It's in stark contrast to the clean, idyllic pictures you see on their feeds. Instagram and social media in general is a showcase of the results, not what they had to do to get there. The cars and the clothes and the holidays might look incredible, but you'll never know the length some people have gone to get there. Would a Chanel bag really be worth going through that? But in some cases, you can't blame the people for doing this. If they've been duped or threatened into it, or if their situation is desperate enough to where they have no choice, after all, them guys that's like that, you do come from a, a woman, right? You do come from a woman. So if the, the males like that, they ass is nasty too. They ass a bunch of Marina Admirics as well. If you ask me, shit, that's crazy. I, I never fought one of they can't. It's over. I, I ain't mixing with none of that. Hell no. Nah. It's a... You have a kid with one of them, your kid gonna be doing the same thing they already do over there. It's over with. Hell no. Nah. Voice, it's an awful decision for them to make. But for others, it's motivated by greed alone. However, the real blame here lies with the rich men instigating it, creating the networks and taking advantage of people. It's relatively unsurprising though when you consider how Dubai treats the migrant population in other cases. Either they're working them like slaves, withholding their meager wages for months or years at a time, or giving them under the bare minimum of living conditions. You see that, bro? They have the same people with your own kind for real. And they comfortable with y'all living like this and y'all giving 50 and 30,000 and even more to thoughts. Because y'all know y'all going to retain it back. They have enough wealth and money and space for all these people to live nice. They have it. And look what they doing to their own people at that. You look just like them. Y'all look the same. Okay, that might have been a little bit racist. But this is just for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> this is for entertainment purposes only so be entertained and take what is true from it because it is in there i always insert it in every video it's in there but this is sad bro if i was the hukage they wouldn't be going through this how i'm living will be how they living i want for you what i want for myself and you might not want what i want so therefore i want for you what you want for you that's the kind of person i am I can look at it from their position being in, they don't even look at, they don't care, like, but they need to wake up. They the ones being a worker ants. A lot of them indoctrinated, I can't blame them. Probably chemically induced as well. Grew up in the same, with the same mindset of being just a number and go and sit down. Everybody sitting down? Okay, let's sit down. Somebody start acting up and dancing and making a disruption. They had check him and put him in place and make sure they get all the worker ants doing what they it's gonna take the populace is more y'all that's on the bottom y'all building mansions and the most beautiful things for these nasty ass species to enjoy you help building this and you can't even afford to get a room that's wrong bro Shit, I can't even talk about what's going on over there. Same shit going on here. So you got to fix what's going on at home first, right? I mean, but that's everywhere. The populace fucked up everywhere, all across the world. And it shows because you have a government to govern your mental, to cut control your mental, your mind. But they DSA two thirds won't make it. And I see that. I, I, I see that. It only makes sense though. It only makes sense. But let's continue. It's predictable that they'd be using these people for other things. That's the side of the scandal we don't see, and it's likely to be far worse than what does come out. Influencers and Instagram models, if they're going to talk about it, at least have a platform to get the word out. Migrant workers from developing countries don't really have that same following or opportunity to make their situation known, and Dubai's elites That's are nearly crazy. certain to have taken full advantage of that. If what we do hear about is so horrific, you can only dread to imagine what happens that we don't know. There are some people that might say it doesn't matter what happens between consenting adults behind closed doors. Doors. Of course, that totally forgets how hypocritical it is for the buyer's elite. Once more, I can't, I can't put any more, in, I can't put enough emphasis on it. Life is a propaganda and perception game. You act the way because you want to be perceived in a light as well, and everything is. I'm here to tell you though, Dubai, you failed. 
but trying to make your city look beautiful and clean and like come here and welcome and then you fail to the ones that can see we know what's underneath that beauty and what looks to be cleanliness it's the opposite you showing us cleanliness and but once the door is open and you go inside it's the opposite of everything clean holy with your religious boy how we is illegal over there but it's not illegal for them to sign non-disclosure agreements and you defecate in buckets and y'all run around play naked tag somebody priorities fucked up at that point i'm thinking it's crisper i'm thinking it's cast nine i'm thinking because you are naturally confused species that some reptilian created my kind neuromelanated beings we don't get down like that and don't insert me with africans we not the same it's a difference by far african is their own thing i'm not african american that's two fucking continents. You call me that IRL, I'm calling Randy or I'm calling Randy or and then getting the consent to RKL your ass because you got me fucked up. And I'm not black. That's void of color. Look at my skin color. I'm copper or gold or both. I'm the perfect complexion. They say, ain't no thing, ain't nothing perfect. You, you a goddamn lie. I'm the perfect complexion. I wouldn't change it for nothing. Permanent tan is real. But yeah, female, you ever been to do bad? I ain't fucking with you. You ever let one of them fuck it? I don't care if he was cool, he ain't do nothing. You contaminated, you vaccinated at that point to me. Hell not. If one of them is over with leads and how disgusting it is and unfortunately it isn't always just adults involved as the next story shows one video of a woman speaking out about a contract she, she had signed was incredibly revealing in the video she verbally consents to flying out to dubai getting an std check then to performing sexual acts with a client a rich member of dubai's ruling class called sultan hey, ali nasty. she mentions specific <laughs> foot stuff but the worst part is that she also mentions doing the same things with the client's underage brother only 13 years old according to the model in return she'd get Smart Deploy is the easiest way for IT teams to image and manage Windows devices. I don't need to go there about shit. Get $25,000 before she left and a further $25,000 after the deed was done. I'm willing to come to Dubai to Sultan Ali. In Dubai, I will have an STD check and Mr. Ali too. After that, we are having unprotected sex. And I will let Mr. Ali Fuck. use the remote of my feet. I will also... Um, and you fear of these kinds of videos have ever been leaked. But yet they got laws. Yet they worried about some marijuana that's not true from Earth. And yet, <sighs> that Zachariah sent you thinking all that is very real, bro. I'm telling you, some extraterrestrials created people here on Earth. They're not. No the smoke screen is the religious book. But behind closed doors, this is what they doing. And what about the stories you don't hear? What about, it's way more females than that, but a lot of them too embarrassed to show their face. Because they know they're not going to be able to retain the male that they want when they feel that father time is taken away when Mother Earth gave them at the age of 18. They're too embarrassed. They're not going to talk about it. I don't need to go to Dubai about shit. If I ever I'm, I'm out there, it's for some business or something somehow. Or I damn sure don't need to go out there for fashion. I'm the perfect height and all that for all that. So if I go for fashion, I need to go to Japan, Tokyo. Ain't that's where where it's at? So that's why I don't need to go to Dubai for anything. That's crazy. But it's likely to become common practice. There could be tens of thousands more out there. And it's doubtful that these men would even need the video or the contract for legal reasons. Dubai's legal system is so biased against migrants and foreigners compared to the ruling classes that nothing would ever happen, even if they did get caught somehow. Corruption runs deep, and being connected and a part of the powerful means you're not going to be punished by them. Instead, it's probably meant as a power play and a verification. It matches up with a former flight attendant mentioned in a story on the scandal. Terrible. In her post on TikTok, she went into all the gory details about her conversations with 
the Instagram models and influencers on their way to Dubai. One woman she spoke to in first class had taken her notice because she was eating tons of oatmeal and yogurt. While she kept talking about getting more fiber in her diet. Some of these look like the same clips. Is this a re-upload? Two weeks ago, so this must be a re-upload then. When the flight Somebody attendant took the bait and asked why, familiar. she was happy to tell her. And now this far in, you can guess what she told the flight attendant. All the fiber was for indecent acts that she was going to perform on a rich client from Dubai. After it was done, she would be paid £20,000. Eating all this fiber on board, you know, you're getting a good little meal in, and then you're like pooping in somebody's mouth who's paying you $20,000 to do it. Like. But what's so surprising about the video though is how casual the flight attendant is telling her the story. Yeah, you want to tell me we're all equal? You want to tell me every man was born equal? It was upon the time you said that we was three-fifths of a man. Come to find out, I'm God's man and you regular peasant. It ain't possible. This, ain't, this don't consist of my genetic composition whatsoever. I have codes, ethics, morals, principalities. If I split this shit in two, personalities become your personal reality, but it's how you think and how you feel is how you act out. Don't make this a scene. I've seen enough. Just know, everybody with two arms and two legs, we're not the same, bro. God, source, the Inkies, the Enlils, or whatever, the, further, the furthest you can go back. Man, these people was created by something else, bro. For you to be into that kind of thing, and it's just passing on from generation to generation. They got kids that's losing their virginity at 13 years old over here. And they're going to grow up, if not already, got the same weird, nasty fetishes as, as their fathers, like. Them people nasty as hell, straight up. That ain't normal. That ain't preference. That ain't... Don't worry about what's going on in my house. That ain't... If you would do that, you would... What wouldn't you do? You would do that, you would do anything. You you would do that, you did everything. You hear that? I hope you know, worker ants. This goes for the populace here in the United States of America as well as every other country. You the true currency. You're the money. You just dead on the shores. It's a corporation. A corpse is the body of an entity, right? For them to have their martinis, the finest fabrics, the best looking women. They don't have moles, though. The best cars and mansions. For them to sit back and make decisions over your life and do whatever they want just about doing this. You might as well, they might as well have motherfucking... What's the shit when you get to move shit with your hands? That ain't telekinesis. Whatever. They might as well have that. That's what they doing. And they just sitting somewhere. They get to do... And then you out here working hard and sweating. And you still can't afford to... And you work harder than them. And let me reiterate once more... Job is defined as public business for private dishonest gain. While you think you're making an honest living, it's somebody behind the scenes privately eating private parts gaining dishonestly up your hard work and labor. You think you're doing well. They, your kids is getting touched and everything. Not me. My daughter's in private school. Your daughter's in private school playing with private parts too. She just got it on the You just don't know yet. This system must fall by any means. All across the world, all government must be vanquished. <laughs> but it's going to take for the people to... Why is these little people up here doing everything? And we the ones building the buildings that they're in and... We can't do... One of... <laughs> Every man not born equal. You can go and get somebody... That can get somebody and get somebody else. I'm going to whoop his ass by default. I have kids. My kids got superior genetics. He's going to whoop your kid ass by default. I just had a cookie crumble. We're not equal. After all, once more, you did say we were three-fifths of a man upon a time. Come to find out, I'm God's man and you regular. We're not the same. These people are not the same, bro. These people can't begin to understand the 42 ideals of Ma'at. They don't walk that. They set laws so you don't overstep these boundaries they place before you. But in a realm of things, it's lawless. They get away with anything. A superior, somebody rich in Dubai, he run, he run you and your whole family over somehow. Y'all got bags and cross the street, ran y'all all over and killed you. He getting off scot-free. Free Scott. He should be scot-free. He getting off. I hope you know that. 
It's crazy. The laws govern you. But they work beyond the means of law. Like, what the fuck wrong with the people, bro? Uh, this gotta be the last ride here on Earth. I ain't coming back. I see why the extraterrestrials don't don't show themselves a, a talk. I see why. Because you really is an ant. For real. You really an ant. She insinuates that it happens all the time and that she's had similar, if less extreme, experiences. The practice clearly runs deep We're and it's likely equal. that it's been going on for a few years now, considering the amount of stories and how accepted it is. The line between sex workers and social media models is blurred significantly to the point that Instagram is like a public catalogue for rich Emiratis to browse. One British Instagram model with 85,000 followers, yeah, who also had a reputation as a working girl, was a rare example of Dubai's authorities cracking down on the trade. She fled Dubai in 2021 after Dubai's police officers raided her. And we gonna end it here. Some of these clips I've already seen. But yeah, I ain't. I don't need to go out there about shit unless it's about some business or some people out there that really fuck with me and they want to see me and I meet them or some shit. But some day. But as far as that, I don't need to be going out there about Nathan at all. That's it for this video. Let me know if a female went out there. You you. If she went out there, do you trust her? Is you still finna cuff it? I'm not. That's it for the video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Us versus them, man. I'll see y'all in the next video.